Now, the first question is, of course, where did Harlem come from? Harlem, New York City. Harlem, by the way, over in the Netherlands, is famous with the Dutch because, you know, uh, they, they held out, the, the Harlemites held out against the Spanish uh, during the War of Independence there in, 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 during the 16th century. When the Dutch founded us, uh, remember, they founded us way down at the southern tip of Manhattan, but a little village way north of Manhattan Island, they named it for Harlem. In, uh, over in the Netherlands because Harlem really had a special part in the hearts of the, of the Dutch uh, going back to the 1560s, 70s, and 80s. Now, um, New York, by the Civil War period, has become a city that stretches from the Battery to Central Park, 60th Street. That was the built-up city. Now, north of 60th Street, back in the 1850s and 60s, uh, there was hardly any build-up. It was mostly farms, country estates, uh, uh, different kinds of institutions, but they knew that all of Manhattan Island, or most of it, would be built up within 20 to 25 years. That's exactly what happened when, in the post-Civil War period, the 1870s, uh, by, or the early 1880s, a series of four elevated train lines were built from the Battery all the way through the Midtown Shopping District, the wealthy districts, and way northward, opening up the areas around Central Park to middle-class development after the Civil War. That's the Upper East Side, Harlem, and the Upper West Side. They were built solidly with townhouses for middle-class people, including the Upper East Side. The rich were living at 57th and 5th. By the way, these are what we, in the old days, called the L train. Today, it's you know, the hip kids going to Williamsburg, and it's like a whole other world there. But to us, the L train was the thing rattling overhead. Um, now, as a result, OK, 1860s, 70s, 80s, 90s, all of what we call the Upper East Side Harlem and the Upper West Side gets built up solidly with townhouses for the middle class. They commute down to Wall Street with the new elevated train lines. And by the way, these were wooden cars. They were two-track lines. They stopped every five blocks. You would think you were on a Disney World ride if you were on the L trains of the 19th century.